Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this live Ustream of What's New in Hyperledger Composer. And also uh, a special welcome to you all, uh, including our early program or early adopter community. Um, so today's session is about introducing you to uh, what's new and what recently has been added to Hyperledger Composer. And obviously, as we go forward, we'll have a look at the agenda very briefly. Um, so uh, before I go ahead with the agenda, um, I'd like to introduce you to two people who will be helping out with the demos today. Um, the names are Caroline Church. So let's put a person to the voice when she does her demo later. Caroline is a lead developer for Composer Playground. Say hi to Caroline. Hi. OK, and also we have um, Dan Selman. Dan Selman is a chief architect for Hyperledger Composer, and he'll be doing the demo on the Vega Lifecycle demo. Thanks, Hello, Dan. everyone. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys and girls. OK, so let's have a brief look at the agenda for today. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, um, we're going to introduce you about some of the things that have recently been updated to Hyperledger Composer. So one of the main things has been the Hyperledger Fabric V1 support. And obviously, I'm aware that some of you on the live stream today are aware of that already. But suffice to say, for everyone, uh, we've added uh, V1 support uh, in Composer. So obviously, Playground and the Composer CLI. And now you can define both the version 0.6 and V1.0 connection profiles uh, in Playground. And obviously, we'll see some of that in the demo today in Composer Playground. And so just to confirm, we now have the supported Hyperledger Fabric environments of v1.0 alpha 1 and v0.6. And obviously, we're working on support for the recently uh, available v1.0 alpha 2. OK, so um, we'll also have a demo today for the vehicle lifecycle demo, which Dan will go through. It's an end-to-end -end walkthrough uh, of the demo, which was built using Composer. Uh, after that, uh, Caroline will give a demo on identity management in Composer Playground. And she'll show you the ability to be able to switch between multiple identities in the Fabric environment, and obviously managing identities in wallets as well. And lastly, uh, Caroline, uh, as part of the demo, will show you the ability to do identity switching uh, instantaneously available in the web runtime. And obviously, the benefit of that is allowing you also to do access control list testing as well. So the next item uh, we will do is present what's upcoming in Composer over the next few months. Um, so we'll have a discussion on that as well. Uh, just for your benefit, uh, this session will also be recorded and available uh, for later viewing. And also, we will endeavor to answer questions that are posted on the chat. And Ideally, we will also um, have you join uh, the Rocket Chat community because uh, any question and answer sessions that we have uh, will be for the benefit of everyone in the community. Uh, one other thing, which is to add that we have some links in these slides which will be available to you. If you haven't already become a member of the Composer community, then we would encourage you to do so. Uh, we'll provide the links uh, for you later. And obviously, we have other links to things like the documentation and obviously how to get the code or to get started. OK, so uh, we will move on to the next item, which is the vehicle lifecycle demo. And Dan Selman will take you through that. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Dan Selman. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through a demo that we've been building over the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's all built using Composer. And uh, what we try to do is sort of go beyond the hello world to build a real sample that uh, illustrates blockchain, you know, shows you something.